the known galaxy, the great sea of stars, all the worlds ever known are collected into a region of space some 1,000 light years across. While some explorers have gone out beyond the mapped edges of the known galaxy into the void of the unknown, little is understood of what exists further out into space. However, despite this lack of knowledge, Astronomers have been able to estimate the galaxy's size at a total of 100,000 light years across. This makes the known galaxy less than 1% of what could be out there, allowing for far greater empires and horrors to lurk beyond. Within the known galaxy, trade and communication happens regularly, though the large distances of hundreds of light years still makes most travel difficult. The most common ship the solar galleon moves much slower than light, and with enchanted sails of woven magic cloth can still only reach speeds of several thousand miles per hour. Scion pilots who can infuse the sails with much stronger energy and mentally navigate the ships can propel the vessel much faster at a few million miles an hour, but even at that speed, many never leave their planetary system. To reach the stars, other methods must be employed. The first are a class of ships, known as combustion cruisers. The Jelani light cruisers bend space with powerful engines that allow them to jump a few light years at a time. The Imperial Federation steamships use elemental energy infusion to move past the speed of light, but even they can only move up to one light year in a day, taking three years to cross known space, and sometimes months to reach the next inhabitable system. The Star Galleons are ships made from asteroids and enchanted wood. They are powered by Scion Sails, a psionic-infused cloth made from solar dust and the woven hair of powerful Scions. The cloth can capture the ethereal winds and push them past the speed of light, while the hulls allow themselves to withstand the intense ethereal currents without breaking apart. These winds were first discovered by the goddess Brandibos, and it was she who mapped out the galactic waters, her hair the first woven scion sails. While these winds are useful, travel is affected by the power of an ethereal current, along with their location being limited with many worlds having no currents that move through their system. A few currents do extend beyond the known galaxy, and currently remain unexplored. Most use the great jump gates that orbit each planet, connecting the worlds into a neighborhood of empires. Each jump gate is a relic of an older time, their technology lost, irreplaceable, and powered by unknown means. They seem to rip holes into reality, moving into a region called the Black, and allow for instantaneous travel. Due to their value, they are protected by fleets of the trade union, and open for intergalactic trade by all nations under the Space Transit Treaty. While no military vessel may use the gates, any member of the treaty is allowed access. The galactic community, while large, can be broken down into several opposing empires. The Order of Heaven, the Imperial Federation, the Orc and Lizard Space Empires, the Jelani Empire, the Golden Empire, and the Bakthoran Dwarf Empire. There is also a galactic union of races, with a few independent systems such as Havran and Pantharis, with finally a region of dead worlds and black stars known as the Dead Zone, home to the many pirate nations often plaguing the trade ships. While this is a brief overview of the known galaxy, more information can be provided in the Exemplia Library under Planetary Systems.